um, Sar Crafters has been making some of these and I have left a comment on her video because we used to make these years and years and years ago well over 30 years ago when we were kids and we used to put them and make them as banners to go around um, the walls at Christmas <coughs> or birthdays um, we we did make them out of Raffi and we made them out of this sandy colour like she had like Sarah was showing in her video and but what we used to do, which I've done this with these, is we used to paint the ends and <laughs> the raffita that we used to use was this colour. My mother used to mix us some food colouring and we used to paint that onto the raffita. Let that dry and then we'd use nail polish on the ends to uh, decorate them up and, and uh, buttons, pearl buttons in the middle. And they really did look fun um, and, and pretty when they were up. And um, I remember a long, long time ago um, we also used them as a, uh, a trailer around the Christmas tree because we didn't have lights so we used these that were really pretty in the daylight um, so what I've done is I've done that one uh, using green raffita um, and the same sort of bling in the centres and then I've, I've made this one which we also used to make these as well from uh, um, we used to put glue with a paintbrush over the paper and it was only paper then you didn't get card and then we um, just sprinkled glitter on and then we'd cut them out and make these exactly the same but with pearls in the middle we only had like, pearl buttons I'm saying in the middle so um, I've done this in a two layered one made from card and it was the card stock that I used for the prom dress and then I also did a double layer one like that which is what we used to do um, and you just paint the edges black but I've used acrylic paint for these instead of nail polish and, and whatever so I just thought I'll show you those and I'm now going to show you um, how to make them. Uh, like I was just saying, sorry, the film stopped. If it is the same person that's doing the uh, thumbs down, then don't just hide in the dark, sweetheart, or, or uh, whoever you are, male or female. Come out, say why you don't like it. There may be times when I need to explain something. There may be times when I could change something. If you know you could do it better, then come out and let everybody know. But please, don't keep giving the thumbs down and not saying why. It's not nice. Um, and because it's, it's becoming more and more regular with everything I do, I, I don't agree. If it's the same person, I do not agree. There's a lot of people come on YouTube uh, and look at what people do. And if it's just having a dig at me, well, have a dig. Um, done these years and years and years ago um, uh, and then I've come up with this one uh, which is done out of the glittered card it's just glittered card that I use for the bodices like this um, and I've done two layers on this one but you can do two or three um, I painted the edges black with black acry acrylic paint use one of these little beaded centers um, and then like I say I've double layered them bent them slightly over the end with my finger just to give them a little bit of 3D and then rough them up a bit like that um, and I've actually I'm going to show you how to do one of these and it's this one because I, sh I filmed this and it didn't work so I've had to film it again so that's the one I'll show you how to do I've shown you how to do in the video or I'm showing how to do it depends if I can fit this uh, into the filming that I've done already um, uh, and I've done a two-layered one, so there they are. They're really, really pretty, and they look stunning. Love this one, but I do like the raffita one as well. So on we go. I'll show you now. A really quick and really simple to do. Took a piece. I'm just going to move this one out of the way because it's drying. Took a piece of card with the glitter on. Um, just make sure it's filming. I want to make sure I've got the shot in. Yeah, right, um, t uh, took my um, container, drew around that, and I think I will do a smaller one. I'm just going to show you, because you can do a lot with the, oh god, that's not even straight. Because you can do a lot with them. Just cut that out on that one. Hopefully I'll get this in time. I'm going to roughly cut mine. This is if you haven't got the raffia you can use anything. Very quick and very easy to make. And like I say we were doing these donkeys years ago. It's like it's the only way we could get a you know like a, a quite a fancy flower 
um, when you didn't have anything. And we didn't have materials then what we have now. So ours were all paper and raffia and material things anyway. Just dispose of that. Now what I did, I just drew myself a basic circle because that's all you need. Right, and then just snip it. And I just did big sections to start with like that. all the way around and then just cut them in half or you can cut them into three if you're clever and you've got a steady hand and you don't end up cutting them off all together like that same again with this one like I say you don't have to cut them right down either we're basically working from that shape like that and then what I'm going to do is use my glue gun to glue that one onto there oh I've just remembered what I should have done and didn't do oh never mind never mind find one that fits so we'll put that in then we'll put that one in. Why not? Right, and then what you do is let me just get my paint. Right, and I'm just going to bend the ends down, pushing it over the end of my finger, just to give it a little bit of a lift. 